Greetings and welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Research Guru here. This episode aims to show you how you can install new citation styles in your Mendeley. By default, Mendeley comes with 14 commonly used citation styles installed. Of the 14, 9 of them will be appearing on the drop down menu. But then you might realize that the style that you, your supervisor, your institution, or your university uses might not necessarily be part of the 14 styles that come with Mendeley. Hence, this video purpose is to demonstrate how you can add or install these citations that you want in your Mendeley. So sit back, relax, and watch this video up to the end. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, please join the family of academic gurus by hitting the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon. I promise you the bell will not make noise, but it will just alert you when there's a new video upload so that you won't have to miss anything that I upload. Okay, let's get to it. One of these two that I'm going to be using today, I'm just going to use Mendeley. Right, so in Mendeley, uh, the the menu that you're going to be working with is the view. Under view, we are going to be focusing on this option, which is um, citation style. So if you click on citation style, these are the default uh, styles that come with Mendeley, uh, the nine uh, styles that come with Mendeley installed, but there are more as well that make them 14 that come already installed. Okay, but you're not limited to that. Like I said, you can uh, install and uh, even upload the new ones. Okay, so, what happens is um, all your references that are showing here, they are showing uh, you the style that you've actually selected. Okay, and if you check at the top there, you've got formatted citation Chicago Manual Manual of Style 17th Edition Author Date. This is the style that is being used currently. Okay, but if you go and say uh, I need to change and put Harvard. It will update your citations and show you the Harvard style. And you can see that at the top there, uh, it's updated to Harvard reference format one. Okay. And if you go and say, I'm interested in American uh, Medical Association, it will also update uh, that and make it American uh, uh, Medical Association. And you can see that there's a one, a three, and a four, and a five, six, seven against each and every citation that you that you have so this will be the format for it okay but then if your institution or the journal paper that you're writing they want you to use IEEE right if you go and check in this case here I do not have IEEE so you need to do something extra for you to have IEEE listed here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to click on more styles okay so if you click on more styles uh, it will open this menu Right on this menu, we've got a variety of tabs. The tabs that are going to focus on today is installed and the get more styles. Okay, so under installed, we are basically saying these are the citations that come with Mendeley installed by default. The moment you install Mendeley, it will have these citations included. So these are the 14 that I was actually referring to. Okay, and uh, this list will grow and grow and grow and grow the moment you install more uh, styles. Right. So, like I said, I want to, I mean, to install or to use IEEE. So let me check if IEEE is there. Yes, it is there. So what I can do is I can click on it, right? And then uh, a button will appear that says use this style. So I can click on use this style. And then if you check in the background, uh, the references are actually refreshing. Um, and this will be how IEEE is. If you check the difference, this one has got uh, square brackets unlike uh the first one that, that that i used the initial one that i used i think i used um i think it's american medical Associates. uh it is what a, a number against the reference but it is not inside square brackets but with i triple e you have it inside uh square brackets okay the other thing that you need to notice is now that i have installed i triple e it also comes and uh, sit here as part of the default um, citations that I'll be using ongoing. Okay, so one of them has actually been excluded here to, to, to have IEEE, right? So, um, under installed, you can have as many as you want, okay? Um, you can have as many as you want. Like if I want Oxford Center of Medicine like, um, of uh, Mission, I can click it and then say use this down. It will up, update and refresh my references in the back and then show them as the Oxford style. 
Okay, and if you can see at the top there, um, it's updated to be using Oxford Center for Mission Studies. All right, so let's say there's a style that you want, but is not really listed here. So let's say I want to use uh, American Chemical Society. So there's a style that is called American Chemical Society. So if you check, um, and by the way, they are, they are arranged in alphabetical order. Okay, you can see A, C, H. Okay, so if I look for American Chemical Society, uh, I don't see it. And if I search here, American, right? Nothing comes out that is what American uh, Chemical Society, right? So I need to use that. So let's say the journal that I'm writing uses that or my university uses that. So all I need to do is, it, you, you no longer need to check under install, right? But rather you need to go to the next step, which is get more styles, right? Uh, so if you click on get more styles, you have an option to search or have an option to enter the URL here, which you can then download and then install, okay? But because you're connected to the internet, right? Uh, you can search there and then it will go on the web and then search and then install it, right? So we're going to type American Chemical. Uh, make sure the spellings are correct. American Chemical, right? You can see American Chemical Society, Journal of the American Chemi Chemical Society, Taylor and Francis, American Chemical Society. So the one that I'm actually interested in is that one. So if I click on that one, I now have the button to install. So I can click on install and then it will run it and then install. It's so quick, you see, it's written installed already, right? If I go under installed, okay, even if before I go under installed, still under here, I've installed already, I can then click on use this tab. Okay, uh, but if I go and check under installed, I now have American Chemical Society listed here uh, as part of the installed styles. So if I click on use this style, right, uh, my reference is at the back, we then refresh and show you, show you how the American Chemical Society uh, is formatted like. If you can check here, uh, it, my style has changed to American Chemical Society and it has got a uh, uh, Kelly. Uh, round brackets yeah no round brackets not kelly round brackets right um uh, and if you check under under certain styles you now have american chemical society listed there okay american chemical society i triple e right um i'm just gonna go and do another last search and search for uh oxford i want to check if there's anything linked to Oxford. so there's oxford brooks university uh they use the Harvard, but it's a different Harvard than the one that is listed uh, there by default. It's different from uh, this 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 Harvard. It's another Harvard altogether that was developed by um, by uh, uh, Oxford. Okay, so I'm gonna type Oxford. Okay, it's appearing there already. So if I click on it, I can then click on install. Right, it's installed already. I can then click on it, and they say use this tab. Okay. My, my, um, it seems like it's not updated. Let's see again under view. That one, I'm gonna select it. There you go. So it's updated now. So it's, it's, it's now using the Harvard style for Oxford. Okay. Uh, if you check, uh, what might be the difference? Let's focus on the top one. What might be the difference between this Harvard and the other Harvard? Yeah, there's a difference. I can't really tell the difference now, but there, there should be a difference um, between the two. Oh yeah, you can see the way it writes page number. This one is page number 80, right? You can see we've got uh, um, a colon there, and then uh, 80, right? But if it's the other Harvard, um, Harvard reference format one, it puts a comma and then p for page dot 80 so you can see uh, that, that 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 is one of the other different there might be other differences that are sitting in there but this is one of the other uh, differences All right so each style comes with it with, with with its own format so when the university wants you to use harvard reference format one don't use the oxford harvard use the uh, Harvard reference format one. If the company wants, I mean, I mean, if the institution wants you to use IEEE, then use IEEE. Don't use any other because IEEE 
put square brackets but others other, other citations might be other styles might be putting uh kelly brackets or round brackets or not putting in brackets so you see uh, all side styles have was something unique uh that they emphasize on okay so this is this is what i wanted to share uh with you uh or how to import uh or to install new citations or citations that are not part of the of the of the of the mendeley software like for example um this uh this one um let's check it out um uh, american uh psychological it's not listed here i think it has been moved because of the other one that i've installed so that one okay so we've got american psychological association sixth edition okay so upper sixth edition is always being upgraded okay so they might be upper fifth they might be upper seventh and so on and so on so it depends so if the university is using upper seventh then don't use upper sixth rather look for upper seventh so if you go and say um american right sigh uh, you see that we put upper fifth upper seventh right um we put upper sixth upper sixth at the same no upper seventh. there is a difference between the two okay upper seventh annotated by bibliography they're different right so if you are using upper seventh um it might it might it, it is going to be definitely different from the the upper uh sixth that you are used to okay so you need to make sure that you are using the one that your university requires you to use okay no thank you so much i think i will not continue with this video i'll end it up here if you are new uh, visit to my channel please please subscribe uh to the channel click on the bell icon like and comment watch you have enjoyed in this video and if there's anything that you think i have missed when it comes to mendeley just put it down in the comment section the guru will do a video specifically for you thank you so much for tuning and see you in the next video